What's up guys, Card Protagonist here. Today I'll be doing a review on the latest Bonify Booster SBT05, War of Dragots. It's been a while since we've gotten support for the main series, so I'm extremely excited for the new set. This booster provides support for the following worlds, Dragon, Legend and Darkness Dragon World. So this booster box is guaranteed to be packed with epic dragons. Before we open up this bad boy, let's take a good look at it first. So out here you can see Horuses, the Horus, Freeze Horus and Magma Horus. Darkness Dragon, this is actually a really cool archetype, which is the Demon Dragons. Yep, a pretty simple box, but I do feel that the box feels a little thicker this time around, so perhaps there'll be some surprises that I might discover from this box. So let's get started. And right here we have the box of a promo, Golden Bullet Tarwag. Tawak Drill. I believe this is from Thunder Empire. I remember it's named Tawak Dragon. Yeah, it is a Thunder Empire. I believe this is a box stopper that is supporting for the next booster set, which is the Thunder Empire vs Chaos. So I'm gonna go to the right side of the box first and let's see whether we can pull anything good. So, Skill General Audacious. This is a reprint. Sector Collapse. Devotee of the Dead, Alakma, Undying Charisma, and Retainer Shield. You may only cut this card if, uh, during attack. Pay one life and life by attack if you have a Dragon on your left and right. You may drop a hand card if you do, because it's cut the hand. So basically, this is kind of like an infinite shield, and it costs one life. Pretty interesting. Uh, having multiple shields just guarantees your survival, which is awesome. And yeah, I can nullify a lot of attacks. I believe this will be a staple in the new deck, so hi. Reprint of Drago Bright, the fifth Omni Light. Combat Duties Flaming Wave Slash. Bottle Dweller Shashama. Oh my god, this is so cute. This is like a salamander thingy. Cute dragon. What I really like about Body Fight is because they have. is that they have really cute dragons. Oh, does that make sense? Melody of the Evil Moon. So this is a new character. Um, I guess this, his team is more like he's getting really unlucky. Really cool design to have. Uh, really weird trope though. So its ability is you may cut this card during your opponent's turn and you have an evil demonic dragon on your field. So counter ability, choose one of the following two. Either draw a card and for this turn, damage you take is reduced to zero. The next damage you take is reduced to zero. So it's basically kind of like a black dragon shield, but you get to draw one card. Awesome. Or pay as much as life. Or secondly, pay as much life as you want. If you do, for this turn, the damage you take is reduced for the number of life you pay. So it's it's very good because uh, one thing is you want to reduce your life points so that you get to get do that 666 um, combo damage. Uh, you have to be a certain amount of life points to do it, and this is one good way to do it because, however, you, need, you can only cast this during your opponent's turn. But you think about it, so you pay as much life, this turn damage take is reduced by the number of life you paid. So you can simply pay and you left one life, so you reduce all damage by its 9, and you're guaranteed to survive for that turn. So it's pretty good. It doesn't say, it doesn't state battle damage or effect damage, so you will guarantee survive that turn. Very cool. Evil Demite Dragon Conix. This was on the box stopper. A uh, box cover. Box cover. Evil Demite Dragon Pebble. Death Astray. A pretty interesting card because your life becomes 3, which actually helps with your combo a lot with this deck. Diablo Shield. Very cool name. You may only cast card during your attack of your turn if you have e EDD on the field. So, knife fight attack, and if you have 6 or, le six or less life, charge one gauge and draw a card. Nice. And finally, Diablo's Conversion. I'm not going to go through the rest, I'm going to go through the uh, foils. So, bear with me. Oh my goodness, my finger, my hand is bleeding. What is this? Is this a pack with the demon dragons? Somebody call help if I actually pull a demon dragon on a secret pack. So, oh, the hardworking furries. This is a, it used to be a tournament promo. You can only get it through major events. And the side events is basically just a... Uh, mini fight if side events. I didn't really get my get a chance to get this card, but it's finally reprinted. It's pretty good because it is a fairy and it does help with the Albron deck. The art is really nice as well. Alright, so we have Gar Rabbit. It's upgraded form. Another Death Ash Tree. It um it's good that we print some of the older cards. This card's unfinal it's you can't really find this card anymore and it's good that it's reprinted because it really helps the deck a lot. Dragon White fifth Omni Holy Light. Alright 
Diablo's uh, Death Toe, Gar Rabbit, Diablo's Storm, Sheaf. Oh, it's really cool. I really love the the Egyptian dragons. It's a really uh, interesting art style. Pride to the sword, the blade that never dies. Oh, this is my favorite. Purgatory Knights. So you may only cast cardio attack your opponent's turn and armor dragons on your field. So knife fight attack, then you may destroy cards with purgatory knights on your field. If you do gain two life and deal two more damage to your opponent. So this is similar to one of the cards that is um it was there was a card that if you set if you sacrifice a monster, you can do damage equals to the monster's critical. So it's similar because you gain two life and do damage to your opponent by sacking a uh, purgatory knight. But this time round it is a hybrid wall, so you can use it in Dragon World build and the uh, Dungeon Dragon World. I actually had a Dragon World build that I was supposed to do a review on, but I didn't go to because I didn't get the time. Uh, do let me know if you guys are actually interested. It was actually a planning in the making, but you know, some decks are not really relevant, so I don't know whether you guys like to watch fun decks, but that's that. Phonics us uh, another reprint from Why the Swap. Pre Primedial Peak. Warrior Limb. Junior Long Spear Warrior. This is a really cool dragon. Fluffy. Well, I guess that's what Bifight is good for. Really cool looking dragons live. Ooh, a parallel foil. Unfettering Vessel Ishtar. Wait, this kind is a few. If another ladder on a few, you can charge two gauge and get on life. Interesting. One sec. Ooh, Draco. Looks cute. Uh, during during attack during your opponent's turn, you can pay on gauge. If you do call this card from your hand, it's basically cook. Cool. Okay. During your opponent's turn, you just cut this card, draw a card. The opponent's life is one draw a card. It's a cook. Cool. Nice. So, Dragonic Exchange, another nice reprint. Bottle Dweller Shashma. Um, another Parallel Foil. Evil Demonic Dragon Capra. So, if an Evil Demonic Dragon is on your field, choose a card on your field and you may drop this card by hand. If you do, the chosen card gives us 5k attack power. Then, if your life is 6 or less, that card gives us 100,000 power. Pretty insane. Is it 100,000? Yep, it's 100,000. Um, 1,000. Yeah, it's 100,000. Very strange. Well, I, I can't, can't complain since Gaga gains like 1 million part tag. Um, a reprint of a really, a really confusing reprint. <laughs> I think that's quite recent. I don't think that uh, people have problem getting Elvarian, but oh well. Diablo Storm. Alamaga. If Omni Lights. Kiamia. Ooh, Purgatory Knights, Needle Claw Dragon. Yes, I actually, I am looking forward to this card. Oh my god, actually, I might actually, actually, I might actually do a, oh my god, do a deck profile on Purgatory Knights since there's Purgatory Knights support and I actually have the updated one. It's like a combo based deck and which actually sacrifice your life, your blood, aka your deck and just deck out yourself. And if you can't kill your bonus, you turn, you die. But you, you resend like multiple times. Right? Ooh, okay. Dang. Exterming evil dr demonic dragon Belio. So I, so blood the blood pack is set, and I actually pulled this guy. Man, I had a feeling that I'll pull these guys today. So let's check check out a secret pack. This is a secret pack, really cool. All right. Okay. First up, we have a we have a brand new boss monster. But it's a size three, and he has a core cost of three gauge. This card on the field cannot be destroyed or written to its hand, or and its critical cannot be destroyed by wounds card effect. The reason why it is very important is because of its. A unique ability. When your life is one, dead ever style, this card gains battery and its critical becomes 666. Triple attack 666 is pretty dang insane. It can be destroyed and it can be bounced. So, really cool. Um, basically, it's a win con base deck, and all you need is just bring yourself to one. It's very easy in this deck. <coughs> Boss monster. Next up, another uh, another size 2 Evil Demonic Dragon Vespertilo. Tilio. So, counter ability. Activate if an evil demon dragon is on the field, choose up two cards of first field, you may drop this card. If you do, for this turn, those chosen cards get power minus 10,000. If your life is one, for this turn, the chosen cards get minus three critical. So it's kind of like a Gamera, where they really where reduce incoming hits, make it easier to tank, so they can finish it off if you are 66. Next, negative survive. So you may only cut this card during your opponent's turn and you have an evil demonic dragon on your field. 
So cast cost, pay 2 gauge. For this turn, if a life will become 0, it becomes 1 instead. You can cast negative survive once per fight. So basically when you lose, you can just pay 2 gauge and survive. Pretty cool, I guess. But we do have a lot of survival cards, so... I guess this will be a 1-off or 2-off in a deck, most likely. There's a ton of uh, awesome Darkness Dragon World cards that can be survived. Uh, for those of you guys who do not know, you can also play the Daredevil um, Revival from the Drop Zone. That card is also very good. So those of you who haven't picked up the comic, you guys should try to pick it up. So it's a weapon. It's a Evil Dark Shadowing Umbrella. Interesting name. So equip cost, put up the two Demonic Dragons from your Drop Zone into your soul and pay to gauge. So basically, you have two Demonic Dragons in your soul, making this card quite tanky. Won't be able to remove easily on a few. You can be dealt damage by card effects, and your life is 1. If your life is 1, this card gains us 2 extra critical and 10k attack like power. It is a double attacking weapon, so having a 3 crit double attacking weapon is really good. One interesting card is, one interesting thing about this card is you cannot be dealt damage with card effects. It's really good because there's a lot of burn effects in the meta, and this actually prevents that nonsense from happening. Pretty cool. So when this card attacks, draw on your opponent's gauge, then your life is 1, draw a card. Your opponent chooses, your opponent chooses a card. Drop a hand card. What? Oh my goodness. So if you're at one life, you can basically draw one card and you're, you can drop one opponent's gauge and... No. So when this card attacks, if your life is at one, you can... So when this card attacks, you drop one of your opponent's gauge as a as a standard. And then if your life is one, you can draw one and your opponent drop one. Quite interesting. If you can play a tank-based deck that just make your, make your life able to tank at one life, you'll be able to drop a lot of your opponent's advantage. Really, really awesome. And the impact, oh my goodness, look at the art, it's so sick. Let's end this, just give up really. Pretty cool. So, you mainly cut this card if you have a cut as attack two times during, or more during your turn, it's pretty easy. So basically any double attacker will just get the job done. Cast cost of two gauge, choose an evil demonic dragon on your field, and deal damage equals to that crit's critical. Lol. So, I can imagine that uh, even if you were to guard my triple 66, I will just have to use this eradicate a bench, and you will have to take the 66 damage, because based on the critical. And it's pretty easy because you have triple attack and the condition is just to pay, just to attack twice in this turn. Awesome. So I'm really hyped for this uh, dragons. I really like this set because there's a lot of dragons. For me, I really like the dragons of Dra Buddy Fight. And therefore, this is what makes Buddy Fight extremely fun. They have a lot of cool creative dragons. And all, I'll probably be getting all of the decks, so look forward to it. So, Hardworking Fairies, the my Dragon Payo. Ishtar, Combat Deities Raw, G-Boost Support. Now it's a, there's a brand new G-Boost from Centaur. Delicious. Epto, Bracelets of Shahel. Lim. Rabbit, Diablo Storm, Onyx, Wards of Blood Moon, another Chaos Albarian. It is such a good card, Albarian. Especially back then when you're playing um, Chaos. I think it might be still good because it actually turbos the Chaos decks. Oh, it's a pretty cool one. So, pay one gauge and you can rest the card, cannot stand. Very good. Uh, I think it is pretty uh, standard for most decks nowadays, and this, at least the S era, you get a card like that. A card that uh, forces your opponent to rest and they can't restand. Really good against multi attacks. Very cool. Alright, now time for us to go to the next half of the box. So, once I really pull an epic secret pack, can we pull something cool? Let's find out. Dragon Exchange, Sloth, Evil Demon Dragon. This kind of looks like a Gretel support. So I'm going to check it out since it's a parallel for it. It's a rare. Call, call cost 1 gauge and put the top card of the deck in. So, even though not, originally size 3 is on a few, this is a size 0. Counter BT, choose an Evil Demon Dragon on a few. You may pay 1 gauge to do set a card. Good. 6 to 6 Henry Sand. Cool. Diablo's Disposal. Another. Another blade never dies. Cool. Diablo's death toll. With slash, primordial peak, 
and Contract Circle of Evil Calling. Uh, cast cost, drop a hand card, look at the top 5 cards of the deck, sorry, and put up the 2 Evil Demonic Dragons from your monster items in total among them in your hand and put the rest in your gauge. Wow. This is kind of reminds me of the Steal the Stars. Look at top, but this looks at top 5, and you can choose up to 2 of monster or items among them and put the rest in the gauge. Cool. So either you get super unlucky, but uh, top 5, you're definitely getting something or if, of it. And it, it can be duplicates, which is good. So that's definitely a staple. That is the best card of the My favorite card. I, I love those card of cards. It gives you advantage. Well, gauge. Gotta wrap it. Diablo's conversion. Now, parallel Foy Pavel. If your life is equal less, this is size 0. When an original size 2 or greater demon dragon attacks, drop one of the bonus gate and put the top card that you gauge. So there's a lot of gauge control with demon dragons, pretty cool. Kiamia, the cat. And another weapon. Cool. I just realized how many times I said cool because I'm so excited for this set. Take a. Uh, Drink water each time, is, each time I say cool. <laughs> Sector. Chaotic Pain Reprint. Mm. Good, I guess. It, it, it helps turbo um, darkness, darkness deck and it's a deep attribute. It's good in... It's actually quite an important card in Abbey Mill. So, it's good. We've got Alpha Gadra. So at the end of a battle, this card attacks. If you have a card with G boost on your field, you may put this card from your field in the drop zone. If you do, call up to 3 DDT monster from your hand. Call up to 1 DDT, sorry. 3 will be broken. Call up to 1 DDT monster from your hand by paying its card cost. So when this card is standby card effects, you can gain 2 life. So you can, I think there's... Um, you could use it together with the Centaur, which gives it a sweet ability reset and you can gain lots of life. It's cool. It's an extra attack as well. And, it, and the cool thing is that the Chantal gives triple attack to anyone who enters the field, so you can just bounce and call a new monster. The new monster gives triple attack, so. Cool. How many lights? Hardworking fairies. Hmm, is it me or I'm getting duplicates of commons quite a lot? It's like, there's more duplicate commons than most sets, usually. It, it's, it might be because, because, it might be because there's only three worlds of one. I mean, it's good, you know, you can get more cards that you need. It's easy to complete your decks for, from each box, you know. I believe we are down to one or two more triple rare. So let's see if we can pull, man. Only something I could brag about. <laughs> Counter ability, choose one Legend Dragon monster on your field and pay on gauge and resist card if you do. For this turn, the card will be destroyed, it remains on the field. Hmm. Cool. It's an um, anti-destruction. I guess I'll be siding it in against certain matchups. Uh, because you really don't want your formation to break, that's why it is quite important. Grand Sage you narrow. So card cast, pay two gauge and put the top card of deck in your soul. This card size is reduced for each dragon on your body zone. So if you guys want to come you guys are considering the new new support. So technically you get it is a uh, technically most of the time it's gonna be size one and in the future it will become size zero because they have the new body monster, triple body. So it's cool. If this card's on the center, this card and all your buddy monsters get plus 10k and one critical. Wow. So with those mon monsters, I hope you will basically get be getting extra critical. Crit boost that can help you tank. Nice. So we're down to one last triple rare. Let's see what we can pull. Another re reprint, but I only put one of these. Fairy King Alverich, this is a new version of Auburn. So it is a very powerful card. Core cost, pay two gauge and put the top card deck in the soul. Abilities of all heroes and view can be 95 card effects. If there are a total of three or more different 
cards with hero and fairy in the drop zone, this card gets two critical and penetrate. Then, if six or more, all cards of the field, opponent's field gets minus 5k, attack 5k defense. If nine upon nine, all cards on the opponent's field. Really cool. Really good. Sorry, I'm overusing the word cool. Apologize. So, a return of all round decks, perhaps. Pretty cool. Stop! Yes. Let's go. Shears Sector. Diablo's Grave. Star. Exchange. Death Sacrifice. Now, Triple Red Jealousy, Evil Demon Dragon, Envy. Size 3. Call cost, pay 2 gauge, and put the top card of the deck into this. So, if you have 6 or less life, this card of you gets minus 3 size, so it's a size 0. So what I realize is most of the monsters that is beside the boss monster will become size 0. Counter ability during opponent's turn, choose a monster or item on your opponent's field. You may pay on gauge if you do draw a card, and on this turn, nullify all abilities of the chosen card and rest it. So the opponent's turn, if your opponent have a quadruple attacking monster, you can just nullify the ability of the card and rest it. So it's kind of dead, really good control card. And you get to draw one free card as well. And then, if your life is one, for this turn, the card cannot stand. So it guarantees prevents your opponent from resending. Mm, pretty cool card. It's a very, very powerful control card. Definitely from what I see, I can see that Demon Dragons have a lot of powerful control. Good because survivability to two you can do a combo is very important. Ooh, Heartwalking Fairies, Parallel Foil. Beautiful. Gyphrus is a um, dragon riding a tiny gryphon. Very cute. What does it do? Cockroach 1 gauge. All demon, all D, D, E, D, D on the field cannot be rested and their abilities cannot be nullified. When this kind of the field, pull up to one size tree from your drops on your hand. Ooh, nice. It kind of cycles your size trees. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy my booster box opening on War of Dragots. If you guys would like to see more deck profiles, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I will probably be covering them. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Peace out and love you guys. Rawr.